okay. 18. Okay, there's 18 in this run. So if we get 18 running, that'll be better than we had. We had 15. So if we get 18, that's good, and I can always put more in here. Yeah, okay, I got a question. Oh? Uh -huh. Your stats across the bottom. I know one is money. What's so the next one? Bottom left is money. The next one is research. Uh huh. So you have to, like, use research to, like, unlock. Um, you use it to unlock this stuff, and, like, um, I can make my drones go faster. I can make, actually, we have some research. Might as well spend it on some minecart stuff. Because why not? Okay, does your research go down as you use it, or is it no, so total collective? It goes down as you use it, and then these buildings here, these are the research facilities. The so dome-looking things? Yeah, so if I say I have to research coal, that means I have to do research using coal to power them. And then, like, okay. so I've done. Kiddo's playing with the phone, all right. So I've actually done enough here to unlock remote connectors. I've researched 50 iron and 50 coal. And I've moved a, what is that, 6,000? 8,000, whatever that number is. It's kind of hard. It's kind of small there. Uh, but I've moved enough so I can actually unlock remote connect or not remote connectors, but um, combiners now. So the, the biggest thing to unlock for me is trains. But we will also unlock rockets and oil wells and monorails. I plan on doing everything on this level. So the research facilities will probably get moved around because you have to have them within like the square of each other. So this is already about like the third place I've had research. Like as I get different things online, like my coal factory. Okay, I can... Take the coal and boom, do research with it right away and get it moving, you know? Yeah. Because why not? So, but we really need... I might have to nuke some of the coal factory to get this factory up and running. Because right now... Your input is not exceeding your, your output. Yeah, we're, we're getting... We're getting hosed here. We need to move more material, which would be gold. <laughs> so. Yeah, because that tank looks like it's full yeah. over there. Hello. Hello, Steven. Thank you. Yee, my guy. Because if we nuke a furnace alone, you know, each furnace is 10 grand. So if I come in here and just nuke furnaces, and I'm not really using this coal right now other than research, okay? But boom, there was 200 grand. So I should be able to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully finish this factory off now. Kind of like robbing, robbing Peter to pay Paul here, you know? Yeah. You see, all you're doing is you're just taking the furnace furnace out, which is easy to put back. Yeah. I'll instead put that. of nuking the whole thing. Exactly. Yeah. Very easy to put back furnaces. Because if you look, I have all this gold sitting back here. There's mm -hmm. 40 pieces in each one. Uh, the little tanks are, yeah, they're full. All these big tanks are holding 40 each. So there's a ton of gold to be processed here. Plus I'm hauling gold in and I bet you, yeah, that mine cart is pretty much full every time coming over. So there's a bunch of gold over here. There's gold sitting over here too. Yeah. So we have the facility for gold. So we might as well try to pump out the gold, which now to finish this off, we just need boxes. So, I mean, we're, we're in great shape here. Hopefully, um, we'll get this done. To see once you get everything up and going, this, those tanks are drained down pretty quick. Uh, ye, yes and no. I mean, that's a lot of material. But see, this this factory was not actually keeping up before with the fifteen furnaces, but mm -hmm. now that I'm up to eighteen, <laughs> all right. Um, appreciate that. I'm awake now. Hello. Yeah, we all are. Who did that? Oh. Chris, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Wow. All righty. Okay, so see, I can't put in the last one right now, but I have no choice but to turn the factory on. But anyway, if I get 18 furnaces running, that's this factory couldn't keep up before. So, yeah. Just wanted you to know. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I know you're here. For we sure. all know you're here. Yep. 
Much appreciated. All right, now we can come in here and start deleting all this stuff again. Because, you know, once you get your boxes in there, there's no point in having this money sitting here. It's just a waste of money at that point. Mm -hmm. So. All right, now that factory is running at 18. 18 furnaces. And essentially, you have enough room to put, what, in 18 more? Uh, I don't know if I'll quite be able to get it. Yeah, I don't know if I'll quite be able to get 18, but... And actually, there's going to be a certain point where I can't keep up with my gold production. This is every gold mine on the map right now. Mm -hmm. So, what's the point in putting in, like, you know, 800 furnaces, you know? This game is called Automation Empire. And it's all about, like, mining and cooking and combining and moving products, basically. Yeah, so we're mining gold over here. This is a mine. We're transporting it via mine cart into this factory where we are taking it from gold ore and making it into gold. And then we are outputting the gold over here. We're boxing it up and then eventually we're loading it on these trucks and selling it. This game is all about selling stuff, basically. Manufacturing and selling goods. That's what this game's all about. Process it, you clean it, you sell it. Pretty much. Or you combine it with other stuff to make other stuff. But ultimately, it's all about selling. So. Yeah, no, definitely. I'll put in another row. Won't be able to quite be as long, but. Even if I drop in another. 12. Another. Even five more. Or not five, but like six more. You know, that would be good. I don't want to outdo my production, though, because. What's the point then? You don't want your output to capacity I, to exceed your input capacity. I don't want my demand to output or outdo my supply. Gotcha. Because then there's no point. Yeah, now you'll have stuff sitting there doing nothing for no reason. Yeah. All right, Stephen. We'll catch you. Thanks for dropping in. The other thing is, I don't want, like, I don't want to have a bunch of tanks of gold ore sitting around because that's a waste of money, in my opinion. You know, I want to use the gold ore. I don't yeah. want to just let it sit Aren't around. Aren't you going to put a third input in? I can if I need to. I'll have to but you don't really need it right now. I'll have to finagle a little bit. Well, this tank's staying pretty full. I mean, in theory, we would keep this tank at 120 in here. You know? But we're, we're actually gaining slightly here. Uh, I don't think I can have more boxes here because they're waiting on the furnaces. If that's yeah, what you're I just saying. Saw the tax man just, just robbed you. Well, tax man hurts. He hits different. Okay. And the only reason I have taxes on is I want to get the achievements in this game. So there's two achievements per uh, per level, and it's basically what is it, thirty five thousand, or thirty thousand, and forty five thousand kilograms. For reference here. A kilogram, so like this one box here of gold counts as 10 kilograms. So each one of these boxes is 10. We're also moving iron, which is also 10. So those are the two products we're actually selling right now is gold and iron. So eventually we'll be doing steel plates. Once we get into steel plates, and especially once we get a train unlocked, we'll be good to go. Some look like they have two to three. It's hard to tell because the furnaces hold like two. If that makes sense. Like, it's hard furnace, to tell. Furnace holds two and you want one on the outside on each end. Basically, but it's, it's yeah, it is what it is. Some of them have more. Unless I sit there and do it one at a time and like count, which is what I probably should do. But we're good. So like this set here is probably the most efficient one. I or, well maybe not though because there's I don't know. They're all working and that's all that matters. All the furnaces are running as long as they're all running. I'm happy. You know. That's the big thing. So. 
There's four there would be two waiting outside. Yeah. I don't know. But they're good though. Like I said, they're all running and that's all that matters. They're they're not stopping. As long as they don't stop, we're good. This tank is kind of hovering around that 80 mark, which is fine. We could put a third uh, input though. Problem is, where's the door have to be? Door has to be. We can move the water. And see, that's another thing that helps too. Is water makes everything more efficient. Can you so. not put the door in between the two? No, there's. The doors only go certain places. No. So, we'll move the water. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And we'll get a connector. Steven, welcome back. I, I don't think that'll work, but we can try it. Oh. Okay. And this is the old case of I should have done this differently to start with, and then we'd be in good shape, but I didn't. So now we have to deal with it. You gotta put a curve in instead of an offset. Oh, that's not gonna work either, though. That'll work. This will. There we go. Plus, we got another tank of capacity. Because why not? Now that that should definitely help fill that tank up. So we got th uh, three inputs, three outputs, minecart wise, and, and you uh, just one cart going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Gaming bacon, welcome in. It's going on these short runs like this. I feel like I call these like bounce carts because they just bounce back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like they're more efficient, but on the long runs, I like to have the really long, long carts. Is there a way to run a pipe directly from there to there? No, no pipes. Not for material anyway. No. Nope. There? No. Nope. No, nope, that's something this game is missing. And speaking of water, good thing you mentioned a or good thing you mentioned a pipe. Because I was like, you know, this factory needs water, which makes everything run faster, so. Yep, yep. And that interior tank is full, looks like. It's really darn close, yeah. Which is okay. Because then the carts will just bounce, not a big deal. But that's good, because that lets us know we have a lot of gold sitting out here to process, which is good money. Um, but that just means we need more uh, furnaces, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how long have I been live for? Hour and a half. Roughly an hour and a half. And really right now I'm just, I'm doing this research because I don't really have money to finish off everything. So I might as well use the coal for something and just get some research points built up because we still have a lot to unlock in here. And like some of this stuff is six million, or five, five and six million uh, research points. Good grief. And then in here, there's still, like, I'll need to upgrade my trains all the way. I'll probably upgrade the bots all the way, because why not? Let's go ahead and do that now. So, very expensive. Lots of, uh, lots and lots of research still to come. Yep, you did their gaming bacon. You it's all good. You can either watch it back on Twitch or uh, it'll be on YouTube next week in like nice, crispy, crispy, high quality. YouTube's not as high quality, of course, but yeah. Twitch is not high quality. YouTube's like real good. That's fixed to say. My bad. My bad. I mean, the vi I mean, I don't. When my internet's working. I was knock about on wood. To ask you about that. Knock on wood. Uh, I feel like I put out a pretty decent looking stream, right? Mm -hmm. How I try is to. The, um, at this at this moment, it's okay. 
And that's you all just, we can go with, you know? You just need to get them to, to dedicate you a T1 line. I told my dad flat out yesterday, I said, if Starlink is available here, I'm signing up for it. He went, what? I was like, I'm, I'm yeah. doing it. If it's going to guarantee, like, if the what they're talking about is true, like, you know, say maybe Trent gets it and it, like, works out for him and, you know, I can kind of spy his numbers and stuff, you know? Well, I'm in the middle of nowhere, so... Well, but that doesn't really affect your Starlink. Satellite-based, you know? Yeah. I'm saying, like, if you get decent numbers, then, like, why wouldn't I get them here, you know? And then professors, too. Yeah. Well, well I'd, I'd probably listen to your numbers a little, because you're close, yeah, you know? Yeah, I was going to say you're closer. Yeah. just realized I'm broken. I'm trying to... I still haven't gotten an email from them either, which I'm... Why are people sad? <laughs> why are people sad? <laughs> oh, man. How many? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're cramming them in. Yeah. Because, you know, like, if, it, if Starlink's going to be the thing and, you know, I don't have to deal with old copper lines in my backyard anymore. Like, I'm all about that. Because that's the biggest problem we have now is this stuff's just so old. Well, I mean, if we have an internet with our Starlink, do we just call Elon? Yeah, we get Elon's personal cell number. <laughs> I'm sure, Trent. I'm sure. But you know what I mean? Like, that's the whole problem is this stuff's just so old in my neighborhood. I don't think we're going to get fiber anytime soon here. So what's the point for right now? You know, just move on. Hey, you just, you just need to put up an, an antenna and just go direct cellular. Yeah. Uh, okay. Dropper, dropper, dropper. Proper. This is getting a little confusing here as tight as I have this crammed in here. <laughs> it, not, not as bad as, to me it's not that bad. It's all about your camera angle. And it's, you're like playing Tetris cramming stuff in there. Yeah, and I gotta make sure I get the right... The right duck work in. The right remote connector in the right spot. That's the thing. Out. Out, out, and you got to get them facing the right way too. Because really, there's no point in cramming it this tight in here. But hey, why not? Hey, hey, it's space efficiency. Yeah, I mean, hey, why not? Like, because if you if you do it right, you can get a third row in there. I probably won't have enough gold for that. <laughs> that I probably won't. Because right now I think I'm just going to do these. This is this will be six more. I think I'm going to stop with that for now and just see how my gold supply is holding up, you know? Because if my gold supply is running out, then there's no point in having all this. Plus, I got to get to, I got to get a train unlocked. This, these Salomon trucks is, uh, a slow, painful process, you know? Yeah, so sell with the coal cars, or does that just not work? Mine cards? No. Yeah. No. You gotta have real trains unlocked. Do uh, sell with. So, after I get this done, I'll probably just wait and let up some money build up, and then I'll start getting plates going. Because plates make us some good money. Please make us a lot of money, actually. Fun. We need some money. And you can't take any loans in this game either. I know. Kind of sucks. So you've run this game 17 years in game? Yeah, I don't know how long a year is, though. 12 months. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. I don't know, like, real time how long that would be. So this one says it has four. Now five. So, like, that probably has enough. That one's also five, so we'll cut those off. Put that one 
Let these put them down and then we'll nuke them. And again. Where's Duke, Where's Duke at? Duke nuke him. Go. <laughs> Never played that. Wasn't that a game? Mm hmm. It's either a game or a character in a game. I think it was a game too. I don't know. And then if you notice out here, there's no extra gold sitting around, which is good. We don't want extra gold sitting here because that means it's not being sold. So, yeah. Now we just gotta, you know, if we get up around that 15,000 mark again, that's where we really should be. Or higher, that means we're selling. That's, that's good. Means uh, your profits exceeding your expenses. Well, that's kind of hard to do, but yeah. The biggest problem is the tax man. He just, oh, it makes early game so frustrating on here. Of course, I'm a little past early game now, but still, it's it's still frustrating with the tax man. I feel like once you get trains rolling, it kind of helps a lot because you're you're able to move so much more material, so much faster. Yeah. Those bots still remind me of the uh, droids off of Star Wars. Lying on my ice planet of Hoth. A little bit, yeah. Oh, all the servants? No, the, uh... Servers? Oh. No, 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 no. I'm... Yeah. Alright, we get 150,000 research points built up, which we're at 69k right now, of course. Giggity. We get 150,000. Mm -hmm. 150, we can unload, unlock the truck loaders, so then we don't have to haul everything to the center. We can just load the trucks directly that'll be good because right now we can't do that of course so like we could just be sending gold on these you know six trucks right here boom 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 get them moving Go on over here oh you know what this might help too i turned these off earlier didn't i turn all these box makers back on forgot I turned those off. Okay, those are all back on now, so that'll really help to get four more box makers making boxes of iron. That'll help. But then we can take some pressure off the robots. If we get the truck loaders going, that'll we'll probably take all the gold away from the truck or from the robots. Just load directly. So yeah. So we're at 24 and look at, I mean, we could put a hole all the way down to here and then a partial third row if need be eventually in this same factory. You could I mean, put like 12 more there. Yeah. And probably six or nine back yonder. Yeah. But our gold supply is going to run out because we're down to 26 out here. So we are, we are burning through our gold now because before we had 40 sitting out here. So we are okay. going to catch up to it eventually here. Uh, do your mines ever run out of material? No. Okay. No, they never run out. And if you give them water, they're more efficient. So we have water to all of our gold mines. Problem is we're actually already tapped all the gold mines on the whole map already. Um, yeah. So at a certain point, we may need to just rip some of that factory out because there's no point in having all that in there if it's not actually doing anything you know so those little dark spots are either coal or iron yeah so the gold ones are kind of kind of goldy rocks and like up here this is iron or sorry that's coal this is oh iron we have so much iron sitting around right now it's crazy we have so much iron that's all coal sitting around holy cow that's right, because we got rid of our entire thing of coal. That's right. <laughs> We're not processing any coal anymore. That's right. Okay, though, for now. Doesn't really matter. What matters right now is getting some research points. Getting the direct truck loaders going. Because then we probably take these... There's eight trucks here. <laughs> take these eight trucks and tell the bots not to come over here anymore. And, uh... Our packers, all good. Just load trucks directly then. But financially, it's going to be a problem, so. Yep, this looks like your box carriers are getting. Oh. They are, yeah. 
Which is a good thing, yes? Uh, yes and no. I see, like, over here, they actually, some of them, they run out of places to dump right now. Uh, I'll be streaming until 10 o'clock, uh, Packers. Probably not too much later, but you never know. Yeah, so they're not actually able to empty all the boxes over here because there's so many. But it's all good for now. $200,000 in taxes. And that's uh, four times a month. So. Four times a month? Yeah, you pay taxes. Or four times a year. No, you pay taxes every week. Hey, Chihuahua. Yep. Okay, now this is an interesting phenomenon we got going here. We have so much gold being produced now that three mine cards can't keep up. Wait, why are they not taking any? Why is that not taking any? It's, it's oh, it's, that one's not connected. Ah. One piece of rail was missing there. Huh? There was a piece of rail missing in here. <laughs> oh, I see it. So it was only two mine carts <laughs> moving. Now it's three. Okay, now we should be good. <laughs> yeah, there. That was. Good. Oh, I can I can see the the tank pulsing. Yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, both that's neat. Both of them as they go in and out. It's like like you're alive. <laughs> that's just how fast you're like processing right there. We're definitely. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're definitely. Kind of, that's cool to watch. Yeah, we should be catching up now, though. With the output. Why didn't you put that other piece of rail in to start with? I don't. I just missed it. That's all. It happens. Like, it just happens. Sometimes, you know, you just need to almost like spin your camera around and look at stuff better in a different way, you know? Definitely happens. <coughs> that 200 grand in taxes really. Ow. That hurts, yeah. The other trick is pre-planning, trying to. Pre-planning? I don't do that, Sarge. <laughs> you What's should, that? You should know that by now. I don't pre-plan. <laughs> I am very, uh... Oh, what's the term? Can you put it in another research facility? Dead and forget. Uh, uh, not with what I have going there, no. But I do have my remote, or my uh, things now, so... We're gonna change this up. Lost the game. I'm not much of a planner. And that might bother people the way I play this game, but I don't know. I have fun. Not me at all. I just have it's fun. It's just different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Sarge's maps, chat. You ought to see Sarge's maps. Oh, they are pretty. That's just not, I guess, you know, it's not. Sometimes. It. Not how my, <laughs> how my brain works, if that makes sense, you know? Okay, we're going to turn these off so the robots no longer come over here. We do not want the robots over here anymore. And that'll help load the other trucks faster too because the robots will not be coming over here. And yes, I'm going to delete all this track and then kind of redo it all. Oh, yeah. And dumb question. With you deleting that, did you just lose those boxes? Yes. Yep, you do you do lose the boxes if you delete. And you just lost some profit. Yeah, I mean it's It is what it is, but it's not part of the game. Yeah, it is what it is, you know. Well actually, you know what? I may have gotten paid for that because that was like twenty two grand for deleting that one. And all I deleted was one piece of track and boxes, so it, it, it might pay you for the pay you for the boxes. Might pay me for the hooks, not the boxes. No, so it is what it is. Really, in this game, you kind of, to me anyway, I don't like worry about wasting product or wasting, you know, because like, whoa, what was that? I blew up with a robot. I accident. Do it again. I can't. Like, like that. <laughs> it is kind of cool. Okay. 
can't quite. I think... <laughs> it, it reminds me of the animation off the Star Wars movie when they blow up the box, the, the robot on Hoth. It's, it's just. There, we, we replaced them already, so we're good. Now, we'll put the truck loaders in. Uh, Steven, welcome back, by the way. We'll put the truck loaders in. And four is probably too many, but that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to aim for. Oh, and I'm... Wait, why can't I put one there? Oh, that bot's in the way. Bye-bye, bot. You are the Adios and vaya con Dios. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I actually <laughs> learned something with these rails for the box maker or for the box mover things. Uh, and I did never realize this, but it makes sense because with mine carts, it's the same thing. If you elevate, they go faster. So the return track that's going to go, you know, they'll send these and then they have to come back, obviously. I'm going to try to re uh, elevate the, all the return track. Because why not? Actually, we'll just turn it like that and elevate it. Although I don't, I don't know if I like that, but we're going to do it. We can elevate it for as much as possible. I think that's going to, going to help us out in the long run. Okay. Pick up. That one worked out quite well, actually. I like that run. I like that run. All right, now we'll fill it up with uh, thing with bobbers. All twenty of them. We got to keep going. We're not done yet. Ah, clock. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, it just reminded me of a. No, that's pretty much what it is, though. Yep. really what it is i mean the shorter you can make this loop the better but i feel like three box makers is pretty good to keep up with what we got going here so i think we're in, we're gonna be in good shape here now we need some pickups and let's see we have two here we could load these two trucks with if we wanted to so i as well might as well. Those truck loaders looks like they're relatively cheap. Uh, they are seven grand a piece. It looks like. Actually, didn't know how much they were. And a lot of this stuff I don't pay attention. It's just like I, I need it. So who cares how much it is? You know. Like the way I feel about it. To a point, anyway. Oh, I shouldn't be watching Food Network in the background. Uh-oh. Uh, barbecue bologna burger. Oh. It's a half-pound patty, provolone cheese, a half-inch thick slice of bologna. Oh. Lettuce and a pickle. Wow. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Like, I want to delete you, but I only want to delete you, not everything. I don't know if elevating for that little bit's really going to do much for me, but I'm still going to go ahead and elevate, because why not? Couldn't wait. Exactly. Don't forget to turn your robots off. Ah, uh, they're already turned off. So if the squares on the ground are like around the trucks are red, it means the bots will not uh, will not go there. Same thing with these conveyor belts. I can turn these to like yellow, and the bots will come all the way over here as well. But we don't want that, so they're turned off. Okay, I'm ready to light the candle. Go back in action here and. Gonna watch it and see how everything works for a minute. 
We are we are producing a ton of gold right now. It doesn't look like it because there's nothing sitting out here, but also have uh, eight box makers out here. So, yeah. That one box maker's full. Yeah. Which that just allows gold to go to the other ones. So. I like this. It's picking up here, but it's still dropping on that truck there. Good. Gonna have enough to fill that truck. Yeah, there we got one off that that chain. <laughs> gotta start somewhere, right? Yep. Gotta start somewhere. So now, as fast as uh, this thing can make its circle here, we'll have trucks running. And our hooks are as fast as they... Oh, well, they're not as fast as they can be. Or we can have more on there uh, eventually. Which, of course, we will want to get. Yeah. Yeah, what, like one more research level? Yeah, one more. Is it? Uh, it'll give us... Uh, 10 extra but it's only gonna give us really like two more so instead of what is it now 20 it'll be 22 mm -hmm. it's 10 percent more yeah well they i guess it is 10 percent each time yeah or two percent four percent yeah or no that's not percent it's just plus but overall you get up to 10 10 more than you had when you started so is it they start at 12 and then go i think so yeah now we're starting to grab we'll be grabbing a bunch here off this box maker now again we're just it's it's all about just getting gold out here you know we just need to get more gold but we're doing what we can on the gold really can't do anymore so and that oh the other tank's actually filling up now a little bit yeah but some of these box makers like they only make so many so this one's at 30 out of 30 and that kind of has to like reset before it'll start like making more if that makes sense so it'll it'll i think it's a uh, based on like the month to be honest but now the bots don't have to come all the way over here and of course they don't have they only have like half the material they're moving but if you look, there's still tons of iron here for them to move. That's what they're loading right now is iron. And there's still plenty of that coming over here. So they actually no. don't have trucks to go to. Wow. <laughs> they're actually waiting for trucks. And we are in the middle of setting a new or just about to set a new uh, record as well. There, we set a new record. There we go. We're doing it. I got a, a bit dumb question. That first truckloader line you put in, the first would it be more the one closest to the mountain? Yeah. Would it be more efficient for it to run the other way? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. If we can reverse it. I don't know if it's uh, necessarily. Box numbers go down when they <laughs> sell. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so like, okay. So we basically just have to wait for our trucks to drive all the way out and around. Got it. Thank you. So I guess the only thing it's going to do is like, as it's loading, it's that first truck will already be driving away. I don't know if that necessarily makes it more efficient, but it's all good. Either way it runs. Okay. Oh, it's 30 crates on the map. Okay, I got it now. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. So, yeah, when they sell, are you empty them or destroy them or whatever? Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Per maker or 30 crates total? No, per maker. Yeah. I've got 79 robots right now, and, like, almost all of them have a box right now. So, <laughs> look at all these. All these guys have boxes right now. They're waiting for trucks to pull in so they can fill them. So, yeah. The only reason I brought up 
running the other way is that it could be unloading unlo a truck and picking up the container at the same time. Yeah, I don't know, I guess. Instead of being empty. This one doesn't matter though. This third one's too long to matter before it gets to a truck. So yeah. Now oh, that makes a lot of sense though, guys. I didn't realize that. Thank you, chat. Appreciate y'all. But these things, these things are pretty good. I don't know about, I don't know. They, they, they do all right. Of course, I don't necessarily want to load every single truck right here either. I want trucks to go. There's plenty of other spaces for trucks, you know? Yeah. And that's, that's the long and the short of it. There's plenty of other room for truck. And we're actually not loading like any trucks over here anymore. There's one here, but he's going to be gone now. So. We're, uh, we're doing it. We're setting a new record right now. We're actually making some money, so we're in a good spot right now. You're almost to a point where you could eliminate the robots completely, couldn't you? If I set up a bunch of truck loaders over here for the uh, iron, which honestly, all this iron output is kind of temporary, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. Once I get rid of the iron outputs, then I will probably set up from... Uh, I kind of like having the robots, so I kind of do. Because the, the theory is to take the iron from the iron factory and bring it into this factory, which is going to be the remote connector factory, the first one I have. And this will be making a uh, steel plate. And mm. you can make a ton of money on steel plate. Steel plate's worth a lot. So that's the, no. the plan here. And then I'll probably do the same thing like I have over here with the iron. Just bring the boxes over to the center here and then let the bots handle it from there. Look at this. We you have like the a funds. traffic jam. Yeah. Do you have the funds to replace all those furnaces you took out earlier? Or are you going to let uh, just, run, just research coal? I don't need them right now. To be honest. Until I get the remote connector set up. Because I already have a whole bin of coal here. And I actually still have coal here. That's not, well, just a little bit. So we should probably put a couple furnaces back in. Because we are using a little bit of coal for, uh, uh, what's it called? research right now is all we're using it for there we'll put we'll put four and we'll start small here and that's my problem really i should start a factory off kind of small like this and then ramp it up as it's making me money but i like to go big and then be out of money oh cool you don't have to add boxes back they're already there yeah everything should be there down on robots but they're my friends they're his <laughs> army ants <laughs> i probably don't need 80 of them though. i could probably get by with like 20 right now right yeah because they're swarming every truck that comes in empty yeah oh it's definitely a swarmage <laughs> hey i would cut it down to like 60. Because really, we're not getting any boxes over here, or any trucks, I mean, over here. Say, so, yeah, true. It would save me on taxes quite a bit, wouldn't it? Really would. All right. Yeah, because you don't realize all these buildings back here are for bots. Yeah, it's 56. We'll go down to 40. For now. Down to 40. But eventually they're going to be doing steel plates until I get trains unlocked. And then once I get trains unlocked, then I just sell the trains and be done with it. Because why not? <laughs> like, watch them. When an empty truck gets there, it's like... Shoom. Yeah. We all need to swarm now. <laughs> kind of. Kind of great. But see, you need to have enough in the swarm... That other ones can still be going back and getting, you know, new boxes too. You got to have like, you got to have both, you know? It's so. like you need like 10% empty, 10% more empty ones than you have loaded ones. 700k just like that. Yep. There's 800. Yep. Yep. Oh, tax man. Oh, tax man. I know. Trust me. I kind of just want to like let my money build up for like 20 minutes, you know? 
If I do that, then like I should be able to get my remote connector factory going. I mean, there was 200 grand in taxes right there again. Well, let's just let this run. Let's play bridge, play bridge builder. Oh God, I haven't played that in so long. <laughs> Ollie bridge builder. Oh man. Yeah. It has been a minute. I have to get in the right mindset for that game. I really got to put my thinking shoes on that day, you know? So you got to take your shoes off, put your sandals on so you can see your toes. Cool. Pretty much, yeah. I and mean, I'm not wearing shoes, but yeah. Something like that. Do you have socks on? Of course. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I know if I just sit here and don't do anything for like 20 minutes, we'll have like $2 million. Like, that's it's the crazy part about this game. You just don't touch it for a minute. And like, assuming you have like a financially stable map. Which this is financially stable it's, now. It seems okay now. But if you just kind of sit here and don't touch it, like you'll have more money and you can check a stick at it. Which is usually what I do when I'm done streaming this game. I let it run for like an hour. Like today, before I started streaming, this map ran for an hour. And it was financially stable and it just did its thing. And okay. it's great. But I need, I do need to start like getting remote connectors kind of moving here. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'll do is we do have a little bit of coal being produced here. So what I can do is I'll get rid of the coal train that's running to, to there. Run that back into there for now. I know I'm not really using it, but whatever. And then I'll start with the iron. Bring an iron over. Where's it going? It's going right there. Okay. And there again, maybe I'll start small this time instead of like 85 mine carts. I'll just start with like one, you know? And actually, I could. Right now, well, I'm not really outputting enough iron to justify like building more in the iron. But I'm processing a ton of iron right now. So. Okay, that one minecart looks lonely. It needs a couple of friends. <laughs> Alright, we'll put another one in. Because why not? Alright, there we go. And then if I want to, actually for right now, I'm going to switch the research facility back over to iron. Because I have a ton of iron. So I might as well do that and just keep our research coming in. Once we get into needing like very specific things like, well, we need to research steel plate so we can do that on these research facilities. But once we get past that, we'll probably move our research facilities. We need to research 300 steel plate is what we need to do. 300 steel plate. That, then we'll move our research out of here and put it somewhere else then. Uh, so for right now, we need to make this a blue tank. We have our orange and blue. Then we start with remote connectors. Gotta love remote connectors. Opinions on the mowing game. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, uh, Lawn Mowing Simulator, the demo came out the other day. And it's... Uh -huh. Yeah, you heard me. Lawn mowing simulator. A demo came out the other day for it. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's kind of fun. I played it for like an hour. I, I enjoyed it. Is it the best game ever made? Probably not, but it's fun. Lawn mowing simulator. Yeah. Yep. And it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's quite fun. What actually. kind of mower did you have? Uh, so I played twice. So right now the, you, you kind of get like a no name or, um, a no name, like overseas thing. Cause it's, it's set in like jolly old England. Okay. Push mower, riding mower. Uh, so the first time I played, I had like this out front more. So it's like, you know, you sit and like your decks in front of you and then like the back end kind of steered. And then the second time I played, I had just like a little lawn tractor. Uh, but first there are, there like are that. zero turns and stuff too. First one was like a golf course mower. Yeah. Or like uh, I, would, I would call a golf course mower. Eventually, there's some bigger stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. 
Now, in the demo, there you only get the two little guys. Uh, as far as I know, it's just mowing, but th there again, it is a demo, so who knows? Uh, first time? I don't know. It, it's mowing right now, and that's it. So, overall, though, it's actually a ton of fun. It is a ton of fun. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time uh, playing it. I mean, is it something? I'm probably not going to stream it right now because it is only a demo, and honestly, you play it for like 20 minutes, then you're kind of done. Because that's really all the content that there is right now. But eventually, when the full game comes out, I'm sure it'll have a lot more content to it. So yeah. All right, we are officially making steel plate, guys. And actually, I said I was going to research using iron, but I'm not. I'm going to research with steel plate instead. Because, of course, we need to. And it'll be some good money for her. Not money right now. It's research. There's no money in there, but... Eventually... Does it have, does it have a higher research value? Uh, Probably, but that's... The, the biggest thing is that we just need it to research. We need to research uh, steel plate right now. Because uh, if we research steel plate right now, then uh, we can unlock other stuff. All right, minecart. He's going. He's zooming. Zooming up on that top trail. <laughs> Holy cow. But I know several people that have played it. and uh, Everybody seems like... I mean, it seems... I'm not saying it's the best game ever, but... It's fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. So, Yeah, I'll definitely be picking it up when it comes out. So, yeah. Why isn't he unloading? He is. At first, oh, I didn't. I didn't have enough oh. minecart line there. Oh, okay. I don't like to put in all the minecart line, you know. Mm. All right. So look at this problem we're running into now. We have too much gold. Uh, mowing grass. <laughs> Called lawn mowing simulator. You mow grass. That is the point of it right now. I'm sure there'll be more to the full game when it comes out, but right now it is kind of kind of bare bones, but it's definitely a fun game. I enjoyed it. All right, so all that gold that we had sitting back here in stockpile, all that's gone. And we've processed basically all of it now to uh, gold gold. So I'm not going to do anything here with box makers. I'm going to just let that be because um, they're, they're doing just fine. And we are making money now, so... That's good too. But we're gonna our, get our steel plate research done. That's kind of what I'm focused on right now. And we'll slowly start building out our plate factory here. I wonder if it'd be beneficial to extend both ends of your rail line and then add two more mine carts. Let's do in three instead of just one. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. Well, we're we're putting we're we're doing okay. I think we still have some coal in the system too. But the other thing is, there's actually not any extra right now either. Until I make some more. I could make that a loop card if I really wanted to. Really get it going. Well, that won't you do that? Here we go, loop de loop. It's just keeping up with it. Uh, first time, I do believe it'll be um, about like growing a business and stuff because you have to like purchase lawnmowers and that kind of stuff. I don't know if it'll have like, you know, you get to hire employees. I don't know if that'll be a thing. I'm not sure yet. You know, it's it's there's not a lot of information out there about the game, at least that I've seen. So. Yeah. If that makes sense. I don't know. We have plenty of coal and plenty of iron here, so... Might as well just keep doing remote connectors for a minute here. Or not remote connectors, but combiners. The space bar is the best thing ever in this game, by the way. 
that allows you to grab whatever you're hovering over. So when you're building multiples like this. I'm gonna fuck the mouse wheel click in Minecraft. Yeah, it really is. Very, very what, handy. What are those structures you're putting, the big things you're putting in? These are remote, or these are uh, combiners. So we're taking stuff out of the yellow tank, which is iron, or sorry, coal. We're taking coal and we're taking iron out of the blue tank. So we're combining those and we're making that into a steel plate. All right, now we're good. We're actually caught up to our research facility zone. That minecart's rocking. So yeah, I would assume growing a company, maybe the health of the of the grass and the soil. I don't know. You know, you can definitely you can cut too short. You can leave ruts in a yard. I was doing that yesterday. The other day, I was like doing donuts at high speed, <laughs> like leaving a whole bunch of. You need a vent track. Yep. I was leaving a lot of leaving ruts and ruts. stuff. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So. All right, so that'll complete that line of uh, combiners. All right. I don't know. I don't know if it'll have all that necessarily first time, but yeah. Holy cow. All right, what do we need to unlock trains? Because that needs to be a thing. Lots of research. Yeah, it's 800,000 research and 100 of the steel plate. We've already done the 50 gold and we've already completed 8,000 kilograms moved. So that's not a problem there. So right now we're just waiting on steel plates and then I think, and I know Sarge, you're on this map now, but I think I'm going to bring my trains in on the left side and then bring them down here. I think. I haven't gotten far enough to long. I haven't to think about trains yet. <laughs> but this is a pretty good area here. And then... Probably down here. So in Good bunch of oil. turn, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll get our first train set up in a little while here and then probably ramp up on plate production and either, well, okay. So I've never really made gold plates, right? I have. So I might plop another factory here, take our gold. Yeah. Well, okay, so here's what I might do to, to start with is just sell steel plate. Once I get enough money from steel plate, put another factory in right here to make gold plate because I have my gold production here and I have the plate, combine those two and then output those on our on a train. That might be what I do because I've never made a gold plate. Kind of fun. So... Uh, first time I have train sim. If you're talking like train sim, oh, uh, what is the game called? Train simulator. Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna look it up. Cause I've got one of them. I just don't remember which one I have. There's like 18 different train sims out there. Probably more than that, actually. Um, I have a train. Where's that? Do do do. -do, -do. Where's that at? I have Train Sim World 2020. And the problem with that game, I've actually uninstalled it now. The problem with that game is I fall asleep when I'm playing it because it's kind of boring. Once you like start driving, there's kind of nothing to do. And I get really bored of it really fast. So, yeah. And actually, looking at all this gold we have, by the way, we could totally just output this gold via minecart or two. To that factory I was talking about and still sell gold at least at first eventually I'll probably need all the gold because I want to make like um, 
I want to make like the gold fuel, which requires gold. Gold plate requires gold. All that stuff. Capacitors require gold. So a lot of things require gold, unfortunately. But eventually. On the combiners, you see the ones that have the water symbol? Okay. Like the things that need water? Like uh, yeah. capacitors, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't make that mistake. You definitely have to have water. <laughs> yeah, always getting up a bunch of ash. Yeah. And that's no good. And then actually, on side note, on a uh, on a coal plant, Sarge, like a, a coal factory here, like I'm running. Yeah. If you're running this style where it recycles the boxes right away, if your coal tank happens to get full, it'll it'll put that coal through as ash then. So I don't actually give my coal plants water or my coal factories. Oh, wow. I don't give them water because I don't want that to happen. So unless unless I have like a really big thing rolling where like I know it's never going to get full. But I, I had that happen one time where I just got a whole bunch of ash. <laughs> I, I it took me forever to figure out what was going on. And then once I did, I was like, well, I'm not giving coal plants ash or water anymore. I didn't know that. Railway Empire. I think I might have that. Is it just that configuration or? Uh, well, anything where the boxes go back through. Oh, so anything to where the boxes are recycling. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. Like the gold factory I had earlier, if it was coal and it got full, it would recycle those same boxes. Yeah. Okay. So it'd run them back through the furnace and back through the furnace yeah. and then boom, you get ash. So, Good to know. But you don't get that with iron and you don't get that with gold. What you do with coal. It took me forever to figure out why. It was strange. Okay, where are we at gold wise here? Or, okay, so we just need 800,000 research points and we can unlock trains. 30,000 more. Which is great. Because then we can start working on. Uh, Moving some steel plate via train. Yeah, first time I think I've I think I've played that. I don't think I really like got into it, but I, I'm pretty sure I've played it. Uh, right about there looks good. Did uh, it set that thing a little bit farther inside? That way you could align loop in. Or are you just going to let them bounce before? I'm going to do bounce cars here, yeah. Those are usually better just to let them bounce. Yeah, and then probably... They keep up pretty good. Probably what I'll end up doing is getting some capacity out here, and then for now, running a fairly long train over, kind of maybe over this way a little, and then down, and then loading the other trains. Lots of capacity there. But I want to leave room here for that factory. So look at me, Sarge, I'm planning ahead. Yeah. Wow, is that what that's like, huh? <laughs> Your head hurt? Uh, actually, a little bit today, yeah. No no caffeine, you know, kind of. Oh, really? Quits, yeah. Your boy finally quit soda the other day. A are again. Go, are again. you going to go no soda, period, or no caffeinated soda? I would like to go no soda, period. Because okay, you do know they make a diet caffeine-free Mountain Dew. Yeah, but what's the point? The taste. I don't. Carbonation. Uh, the, the sparkling, uh, sparkling ice. That's good for me. Uh, It'll work. Better than nothing. Uh, I've been on just water here the last, like, couple of days. And, uh, I've been fine. It's been a little boring, but it's been fine. I don't know about the. Don't know about what? The uh, whole no caffeine. I think I could do it. I... I think I'd keel over. I need to lose weight, you know? And stop. Since I've retired, I've packed a few on too, but. Oh, that's my problem. I retired, huh? Yeah. Qu <laughs> question, Sarge. Have you drank coffee your entire life? Eh, for the most part. You couldn't do it. That'd be I awful hard. Seen, I have seen what happens to a person that does not have coffee. 
it is not pretty. <laughs> now, I don't have to have coffee all the time, but I still have a caffeine intake. No. Yeah. Well, my grandmother drinks a half a pot of coffee at least every day. Oh. Well. Oh, that's. But she's lunch. done it for <laughs> seventy years. That's that's the thing. She's done it for seventy years, and I have seen her without her coffee. It is not a pretty sight. <laughs> Sarge, that's lunch. <laughs> oh man, Shark and Chick, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> she oh. is not happy. Uh -oh. Wait, do you even know? Do I know what? Have you looked at Snapchat the last couple of days? I haven't really paid attention to that whole thing. Uh -oh, uh, I haven't, of course. It's um, not on it either. He's in the hospital. Oh. I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. They're all right. Asthma. Or not asthma. Uh, no, not asthma. It started with an A. No, it's not. She's got pneumonia. <laughs> oh, pneumonia. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Uh, she That's wasn't. A different letter to the L. Yeah, she wasn't <laughs> feeling well. And well, well, to me, it still sounds like it starts like it starts with a P N. Any, anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyways, continue. She was not feeling well. I hadn't been feeling good since Monday, Tuesday. Okay. And breaking a favor, having a favor, breaking a favor, having a favor. Oh boy. Yeah, well, she was going for a DOT physical and said, no, I'm going to the doctor. The doctor said, um, you need to go to the emergency room. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. G so. Guess her uh, temperature. Um, yeah. A lot? I don't have no idea. Yeah, uh, 103.5. It's kind of warm. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't consistent. She'd have a high temperature, she wouldn't. She'd have a high temperature, she wouldn't. Hmm. She went in. White count was highly elevated. Oh, wow. They did the tests and stuff. Give her two strep tests, three COVID tests, the, the nasal thingy. I'll come back negative. They pulled blood, but she had a horrible time with it. Come to find out it's pneumonia. So they admitted her. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not good. No. Okay, which power system? I just broke the whole the power. Okay, this one right here. No, she, she's not a happy camper. Yeah, I can see that. Nope. Come on. What did you break this time? I'm overloading my power capacity. Oh. Oh. That's all. No big deal. But just put one over there on the other side of the map. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know. All right. Okay. Oh, Do that. Problem with doing that is then they aren't shared power. Yeah. Oh. So, like, that? I guess you can't put it, push it in both ends. I don't think so. Well, no, no it, I mean, if you, if you put one over there and then ran lines over and connected it in, it'd work. Yeah. All right, we're going like that's a train line. Yeah, this Appreciate is gonna take forever, isn't it? But that's kind of my option I have, you know. So, but that also means eventually I could put in a whole ton of overhead bins to get a really long train here, you know. If I wanted to, yeah. I probably won't, but I could. Uh, I don't know. Parker kept talking about some kind of pearls you get. Oh, you got the cost. Tesla and pearls. Those things are great. I love those the pearls. Yeah. The what? Te Tesla, Tesla, something like that. I don't know. My mom used to used to take them like they were candy yeah. for a cough. Talking about tapioca pearls? No. I you were saying they Tesla. look like that. Except it's a just it's a cough a medicine. Bigger. Yeah, it's a cough medicine. My uh, my mother Mr. was takes those. my mother was a big fan, big fan. 
All right, so we will load train right here. Why can't I put that there? Be able to put that underneath the tracks, right? Oh, I'm poor. That's why. <laughs> okay, stop. Wait oh. a minute. Hammer time. But actually, you know what? That's not that far. Maybe I just try to connect it with bins for now. Instead of a minecart line, because like bins are a lot more efficient. Yeah, they are. Because they're instant. I do small bins and and triple. Let's see. Cover some ground. I'll work from this end though. I was gonna like trying to decide which end I should work from. I think I'll work from here. Go over. You get 136 now. Well, you know, tax man. I should have a train coming though. Maybe. Wait, where did he, did he already sneak through on me? Mm -hmm. Oh, he did. Oh, I missed it. I train with your four cars. He must have spawned before uh, at all the bit. You know what? That's a here. Here's what we're going to do. These bins are 10k a piece too. We'll just go to one for now. Try to get something out on the train, you know. Something's better than nothing. If you recall, I'm trying to leave room here for um, that other factory I want to bring in eventually. Oh, wait a minute. That's, that's piping. How come you can't just run pipe those pipes all the way down? That's what I'm doing. It's just very expensive. No, I'm talking about just the pipe. Oh, you not, can't. It's not, only not the barrel. Oh, it's only a three connector, and that's it. You can't go any farther. Yep. And you can't connect connectors to each other. So you have to. Otherwise, kinda... we would have by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> One solid pipe. Oh, it'd be so nice. Problem is, I'm okay. Wow, I'm okay. Wow, that. Did that act. Wait. I need a two connector. No! <laughs> no, you can't have that. I know. But it's lined up. That's actually impressive. Yeah, it's lined up good. Take. I got this. Here we go. Just get yeah, rid of the big man. in the game is illegal. Boom. Oh, no. That is beautiful. That is. That is. That is beautiful. Okay, now we just need to add back a couple more of these. Or one more for now. There we go. Need a few more All overhead right. bins when we can afford. Oh, you actually did get it to line up. Dude, that is beautiful. All nice. three and and bins. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy with that outcome. All right, so we'll wait for our train to come through. Of course, I don't have the trains uh, fully upgraded. As far as like the research of getting them here faster, so we will get to that. But there will be plenty of steel plate waiting for him because again, it's all instant. So as soon as the minecarts put it in here, it's available for the train. Boom, just like that. That is, that is slick. I'm kind of kind of proud of this like system I got here. And then honestly, the way I did this, I can totally put that factory right here, and then just output Plum from that. that from that big bin. Boom. How done. come you don't connect the bin on the inside to the bin on the outside with a pipe? Can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't transfer through uh, like a wall of a factory with uh, bins and pipes and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Be yeah, nice so that's why he has the uh, bumper cars. $226,000 in taxes, by the way. Mine aren't running that height. <laughs> I think this is my third time streaming this one, Sarge. So I've got, I got a few hours. Wait a minute. How much is yours? 200, 200 and... something. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Two. Click on your scales. Oh, well, that was I'll show yeah. you what your monthly is. Two hundred twenty-six thousand. Wow. Why yeah, would way what more? Or no, eight hundred eighty-three thousand. Power and taxes. Oh, and that's in the three month, right? Previous months. Yeah. Yeah, that two twenty-six is current, up to date. Current. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, yeah. So if you look at that, 128. So if you look at that differential, it's like I'm not really making much money. No. 
but hopefully here in a second I'll start making more. I got steel plates sitting literally everywhere right now. So. And let's see. We are running low on coal. Which is fine, because we have the facility here. We just need to put in some more furnaces uh, at a due time here. Actually, we probably do need more boxes here, too. But again, they're, they're keeping moving, so I don't really care. Because when, when you delete furnaces, we uh, delete boxes, too. So, put that later. But now we should be good there. And actually, we're pretty well... Okay, so we're going to slow this down over here, I think. We're outputting a lot of coal to be boxed up. Or a lot of iron. I'm going to go ahead and trim that down a little. Probably just go to one cart uh, for now. Because, you know, we're starting to use this iron for other things. So, Packers, welcome back if I didn't already say that. Sorry about that if I didn't. All right, we are loading our first steel plates. You think this factory rumbles with this train right next to it like that? <laughs> that, fact, or that train or that factory rumbles anyway, right? Just all the stuff going on inside there. Holy goodness. Holy cow. All right. And honestly, I should get a bunch more of these uh, overheads, like maybe down here somewhere, just to have to get a longer train. It would probably make sense to get a second train before spending a bunch of money on overhead bins. Run two trains on uh, plates for now. That'd probably help out a lot. Because if you get a really, really long train, it takes so long to fill. It could take over a month to fill a long train. So... Yeah. All right, this should help. All right, here we go. First train with cargo <laughs> on board. Hey, you Moving. Do good on this one. It should help, right? I mean, even without the train, we're sitting at a thirteen thousand. That's not terrible. I mean, our record's only 17 one, so. How much is a train car worth? I always forget. 36,000 per train car. Yeah, I can handle that kind of money. 200. Oh, uh, just like it. We're at 200K. I say and we, the tax man. I don't know. That just pays taxes. <laughs> I mean, literally, you know, can we put a train that close? You know, the problem with this is going to be we need to turn right away. We're not going to be able to turn right away. Can you connect those together like that? I don't know. I'm kind of tempted. Probably not because you have to have a, uh, like an out don't connector. Know. Don't know if it will. Yeah, you have to, you have to have connectors pointing into these, not out. So that probably won't work. Next one would be right there. That's too far for that, yeah. This is that dilemma you run into with these things. Where you basically have to have a bin. You gotta end up having two bins between to get the spacing right for these overheads. But now the problem is, can I go through here and turn? I'm not going to be able to turn that. Hey, it's filling it. Yeah, but I can't get a train in there is the problem. I should say a train back out of it. Okay, um, uh, back it up once. Do... I have to move it back a few spots, yeah. Can you come out to a bin, do a pipe, angle it? Uh, no. No, we'll just move it back. The the side of the... That's what I'm saying. That's, the, that's what I was talking about. Oh, Not necessarily I necessarily gotcha. angle it, but change the direction. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, we're good here if we do this. And then we can get a train in here and turn out the way we need to here. How come those other five bins aren't filling up? 
because they're technically not connected. Um, so the way the trains work, you know, each overhead bin holds 16, but if you only have like one overhead bin, you're only going to get one or one or two cars. And then every bin you add, you get more cars on your train. So if I covered this entire train track in overhead bins, the train would take like two months to load. Or I think at a certain point it does stop. Oh, so one overhead bin is one car. I, uh, maybe two, but it's not that many. It's not that many. So yeah. Well, I want to get this as tight as possible here, but I can't get that any tighter e either. Can I? Probably can actually. Oh, maybe not. That's it's tied. These turns kind of suck with these uh, train lines. I think the train's about the only only thing that's really annoying. <laughs> Can't really change the radius of the turn. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. And then see here, it doesn't actually matter because I can't put that there anyway. So let's move this back anyway. We'll start down here. It's kind of wasted space, but it's kind of not at the same time. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I could have my tracks, you know, zigzag through here, but I rather rather not have that. I rather have kind of straight yeah, a switch where you have a switch. That'd be cool. Yeah, where you can go from two rails to one. That would be nice, but no, no we don't get that here. Was that an alarm, Twitchy? Yes. And then here I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a squiggly here. Because I'm going to try to conserve as much space as possible with the uh, in inputs here. So if I can get them as close as possible is what I'm going to do. I think I'll need a squiggly here. Yeah, I'll need a squiggly somewhere. Which we might as well put it back here, kind of. Well, there's 200,000 in debt. Let's go. If I put it... Actually, I should probably put it back like at the I, input. I, yeah, that's what... That way it doesn't... Interfere with anything else, right? Because then that gives me as much room over here as possible for whatever whatever I want to do, you know? Because actually, like, Sarge, on your one map, you had your trains and then you had, like, minecarts dropping in and dropping goods in between them, didn't you? Yes, I did. And that worked out quite well from what I what I remember seeing of it. Oh, it was... It worked quite well. It was insane. Yeah. So actually, we're going to move those over just a smidge so they don't interfere with... I have to bring in the next tunnel out a little bit. We'll do them right here. There we go. So what I could do, like we we're saying, is if I want to sell, say, gold fuel, I could drop a minecart in between the rails. And because, of course, I can elevate to a level two or three above these um, these lines. And I can uh, sell that way instead. So instead of selling, say, steel plate on maybe the next train, I'll sell something else. I don't know. Might be steel plate for now, but eventually I'll sell something different. Because honestly, I should probably try to get a few trains rolling on steel plate. Because as you can tell, I have a ton of them sitting around right now. We might as well try to get them out of here. And making money. Because we're actually, we're running low on coal, or, no, not coal, iron here. So we're not going to be moving any more iron here. We're going to be losing money on this, this part, which is fine. Gold's still doing its thing, but now we have plate production going, so. We'll get some trains rolling on plate and be good to go, hopefully. And it's not that we're out of iron or anything, it's just... We actually might be caught up to this factory. Might need to upgrade this factory a little bit. Oh, actually, okay, we're caught up to our input is what it is. So we might need more iron. 
uh, more iron inputs. Actually, we need to make this train longer. He's not emptying this um, this mine out very much. So we'll get that going, get this mine emptied, and then there is more iron on the map. We have four more here. Uh, I think that's it, honestly. Yeah, this is all coal. We do have these irons in here. These, what is there for here? I don't have water to these yet, so I should probably try to get some water in here. Probably wouldn't be a bad thing to work on. We get them water, and then they'll be more, more efficient. But again, I'm kind of broke right now, so. Do these go? Does this go over this? By golly, Georgia does. Okay. Um, let's see if we go do that with it. Really like that because that's not going to make the turn that I want it to. There we go. That'll work. <laughs> 